Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a new handbag unboxing. Although as you can see, I've already taken a little bit of a peek, but I did want to make sure that it was okay with all of the trouble I've had lately with handbags not being okay. I just wanted to double check before I showed you. It's been very frustrating. I've had to do a fair amount of returns and I hate doing returns. I hate the whole process. I hate waiting. I hate the uncertainty of our mail or UPS or FedEx system. I hate worrying whether or not the company will process the return. I've had issues there with companies like Farfetch wouldn't process the return for the longest time and also Belk gave me trouble once but I still order from Belk. I haven't ordered from Farfetch since the whole debacle and if you haven't seen the videos I did on my issues with Farfetch and returning a Marc Jacobs Mini the tote bag, I can try to link them down below. A lot of the updates are contained within other videos so it's not like I did a dedicated series on that or anything, but if you're interested to know, I will try to link some of those videos down below, if not a playlist. Anyway, so let's get to the unboxing or the reveal, whatever you want to call it. It is in a box and I'm going to take it out of the box. So I think I can call it an unboxing, even though it's opened. Does anybody know the official terminology of an unboxing? Does the box have to actually be sealed? If it's not sealed, do you have to call it a product reveal at that point? <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble on YouTube, so I got to make sure I've got my terminology correct. So I've got the coach wrapping. So now you know it's a coach bag. When this bag arrived to me, it was in the dust bag just like this. It did not have the outer plastic wrap like Coach so often sends their bags when they come from the warehouse, which is sort of confusing because this bag's not even on sale. I ended up using my birthday discount plus Rakuten was 15% back on the day I ordered it. And as you can see, I'm not very good about sliding the bag off and, and giving you all the suspense and all that. But I did check this bag out and made sure that she was okay and keep worthy. And I just wanted to show her and share her with you. So this is the studio bag and it is in the color chalk and it is quilted and it has the most luscious leather. I would say it feels like it's a little bit more durable than the pillow Madison. And as you can see, there's no strap here, but it does have the D rings on the ends for a strap. So what does that mean? Yes, it means that you can have all the strap action you want to have with this bag. Let me show you these first though. We've got the little hang tag here, and then we've got a little clochette. The clochette is to hold a key. And I'm telling you, this little key is the teeniest, tiniest, most adorable little key that you ever did see. It says coach on it and it's so stinking cute. And it's sewn onto the leather bit so you can't take the key out of the clochette. And if you do want to lock your bag, which the lock is right there, you would have to take the clochette off altogether, which isn't hard to do. You just lace it through there and then you can lock your bag. Let's see if we can do that. I haven't done this yet, so we get to experience this moment together. I've heard that the lock is actually a working lock. Would that not be insane if it actually was? And can you imagine taking the time to remove the clochette and get the little key out and then take it, insert it in the little holder here, lock it, Okay, I turned it to the right. That was not a locking mechanism. I turned it to the left. That is a locking mechanism. This is locked. This key works. Oh my goodness, guys. So let's unlock it because I do want to open it. There we go. It's working again. So let me reattach the clochette. The clochette reminds me of my Speedy's well, my Speedies don't actually have a clochette. So Coach is doing better than Louis Vuitton in terms of putting a clochette on 
its bags that have keys because my speedies in canvas, which costs over a thousand dollars, have no clochette. I know that Louis Vuitton does clochettes for their Emprunt speedies, but you know, canvas is too cheap at over a thousand dollars to include a little leather bit with a key inside. They do give you the key, but no way to hold it. So <laughs> it just, it's like, what do you do with this little key? Do you put it in your pocket? I don't know, but anywho, that's neither here nor there. So let's do a tour of the bag before we get any further. So the back does not have a pocket, but it is designed with three compartments. There's the one, there's the two, and there's the three. Let's look inside. I really love this bag. I was looking at other colors, but the only ones that come without the leather chain strap, and I can pop a picture of one of those in right here in a color that I would love to have. So the only ones that come without the leather chain strap in the quilted material are chalk and black that I've found anyways. And I would really like to have another one, but I don't want to have black. Black to me, I, I've got black bags. I like black bags, but I don't need to have a bunch of black bags. And I say that and I'll probably be getting another black bag really soon, but I don't want a black bag in the quilted studio. What can I say? I'm going to patiently wait for the one that I just showed you to go on sale enough and then try to sell that chain strap separately because they increased the price by, I think, 300 freaking dollars to get the leather chain strap that is uncomfortable that I don't want. So let's look inside the bag. Now this bag, unlike the Eleanor that I showed you yesterday, it is fully leather lined. And how do I know this? Well, I can feel it. It feels amazing. It feels way better than the Eleanor did inside. And I can smell it. Oh my gosh, guys, this bag smells unbelievable, incredible. Look at how big this compartment is. It is humongous. And then on top of that, this front compartment, it expands, you can tell. And then the back compartment, it expands too. So you have all sorts of room to put all of your goodies. I can have all kinds of fun with this bag with straps. It comes with a leather strap and this strap is not grommeted, but it does have a different kind of buckle than I'm used to with Coach. And I do find it to be more elegant than some of the other buckles they've done. You can see here, I adjusted it to my height. Well, maybe you can't see here, but there's some sizing marks on the strap. And I may try to do an iron on that a little bit to see if I can get that out. But of course you don't put the iron directly on the strap and you also do not get the iron on the edge coat at all because it may melt and that would be a shame. So. We'll see, I don't know if I'll do that or not. It's not that bad. So let me put the strap on that comes with the bag and I'll try it on. And then we'll get into some of the other straps that I have and that I can recommend to you because some of them you can still buy on Amazon. And then you can decide what ones that you like best or if you order this bag, you can figure out which ones you want. So guys, once again, I'm not fancy. I'm wearing just lounge clothes, but look at how adorable this bag is. I love it and it's so comfortable. When I originally saw this bag, I thought it was too heavy and it is just a little heavy, but not bad. And of course it's empty. So who am I to say it's not bad? I don't know for sure if this would be bad for you, but I can handle it for how gorgeous it is. In fact, let me weigh it for you. I think it would be nice to know exactly how much it weighs with the strap, I'm gonna put the strap inside the bag and put it on my postal scale that I have right next to me. And then you'll know exactly how much it weighs. The bag weighs one pound, 9.9 .9 ounces. And that is with the strap inside and the tag attached because you know that tag adds some extra weight. I think there are some people out there that say anything under two pounds that they can handle. That a bag that weighs more than two pounds is just too much. So the first way I'm going to dress up this bag is with a chain that you cannot get unless you get extremely lucky. It is a golden chain in a C link pattern. This chain I got from a wonderful lady that I met through Facebook 
and it was part of a bag called the Dinky 19 a long time ago, and she sold it to me, and I'm so grateful that I was able to get it because you can't buy them separately. But if you wanna dress up your studio bag, I think that is just a fabulous way to do it. Isn't that pretty? I have another chain here by Yi Chain, and this is one that I have modified. They have them in a small diameter and a larger diameter. The larger diameter is just a tad bit wider. Here's the difference so you can see. I like the smaller one because it has smaller clips, but I couldn't get it in I believe these are like 26 and a half inches long. I couldn't get the smaller diameter in that length. It only came on 42 inches, I believe. So what I did is I shortened it. I, I use a little kit. It's a little kit by Bead Landing. I think I got it from Michaels. And then I've added a few other tools that I picked up along the way, but it's a really random assortment of tools on top of what came with the Bead Landing kit but I tend to use wax paper or parchment paper in between the pliers and the metal because I've discovered recently that that really helps reduce the amount of damage that you do to the metal when you're doing these adjustments. And then for any remaining damage, I use a four-way nail buffer to sand off any rough edges and then to polish it. And sometimes I remove a tiny bit of the gold in the process, but I'm telling you, it is just such a minor amount. This is the one that I altered. And you can see it's pinched together a little tighter there on that end, but you can tuck the part that you altered into the nook of the one right below it. And then it's just almost not visible at all. So I'm gonna show you the smaller chain so this hangs down a fair amount lower. So it might be better if you wanted to use this as an actual shoulder chain. That's actually very comfortable as a shoulder chain. It might be even better with the wider one though. Now remember, I told you that the wider one, it comes this length to start with. So this may be a better option for those of you who do not want to do some alterations of your own. These chains do tend to get a little twisted and you have to kind of untwist them as you wear them, but they do swivel, which helps a lot with that. But that's pretty darn comfortable. I like wearing it crossbody better though. So I will probably just pop my C chain on and wear it crossbody as opposed to wearing it as a shoulder bag. But if you want to bring it from day to night, that's a really nice option. One more, now you can buy this chain this is the one by the company XIAZW. Those first two, I guess that they're not the first two because the C chain was the first one, but the next two were by a company called Yi Chain and I'll link them all below in the description box. But this one, this XIAZW, it came with rings that were bigger than this and I swapped them out for smaller ones. And I'll tell you in a second where I got the smaller ones. So I definitely prefer this look for crossbody versus the Yi chain because it's not as long. And if you wanted to customize it, you could shorten it just a little bit with no damage at all by just cutting off a couple links because this O link hooks it to your bag. So you would just cut off a couple links with some bolt cutters and voila, it would be ready for you to wear. Now, can you do it on the shoulder like this? You can, but I wouldn't. It's a little bit high up for me. So this chain is fantastic as a draping chain. Look at how pretty that is. And it matches the Coach Hardware really, really well. So I told you I was gonna tell you where I got the smaller rings. And you can order them on, I think on Etsy as well as many other places, but I wanted this antique finish. And so what I did is I ordered extenders in this paper clip style or chain link style. I ordered these and a set of two, I think was $6.99 or maybe it was one. I don't remember. It wasn't that much, but this here is three of the extenders that I put together. And so since there were three of them, I got a total of six of the little O-rings. And again, I'll link these down below, but what I did is I put the three different 
sections of extenders together and made a long chain. You know the saying, waste not, what not? Basically, that's what I did when I created this chain. It's different than any of the other chains that I've seen. And I do have, like I said, a little bit of damage, like right, right here is one of the ones that I opened up, I think. Hold on, let me find it. Right there is one of the ones that I opened up. But again, I just took my little sander and smoothed out the edges and it's so blingy and glistening that you can't tell. And so I actually am loving this look with this bag. I don't know that it's long enough for shoulder. I mean, you could definitely get away with it in a pinch, but this may be, this may be my favorite one. And it's not even a chain that you can, you can buy. You have to put a couple of them together, but in the process, you get some extra O-links that you can hook other chains on with your bag and have it be more discreet than having the giant circle right there at the D-ring. I think that's so pretty. And I'm not done yet. Of course, I'm not done. So I'm going to take off the original strap that came with this bag, and I have just one more to show you. So you all know I've got the chalk tally bucket bag, and one thing I love about Coach is how they provide multiple straps, and here's one of them. I love the chain detail in the middle of this strap, and I think it's going to look fantastic with this bag if it's not too high up, because the tally bucket bag tends to be a bag that rests higher up on your body. So I'm going to extend this out almost all the way. And yes, oh my gosh, I love it. This is so great. So you can still get the tally bucket bag in the chalk color and you can get it on sale right now at Bloomingdale's and you can get this bag on sale right now at Bloomingdale's too. If you spend over, I believe it is $400, you get 30% off. It may be 500. And then the tier below that, you get 25% off. And so these bags are really a pretty darn good deal, especially if you get enough to get over the top threshold, which is four or $500. I'm loving this combo. I think it would look fantastic with this link chain as well dangling because look how that resembles the link within the woven strap. The last one I have to show you is this woven strap I got with my camera bag, and I think it looks great too. I prefer the link one, I think, but this one, it does give you a whole nother color palette to work with for your wardrobe. I think that this would be beautiful with like a mauve or a rust colored top because the strap would bring those colors out and it still has the chalk trim on it to match with the bag. So I know I could do more. I have tons of straps from see-through purses that would be beautiful with this bag, but for today, I'm going to stop because I'm over 20 minutes. I know I'm gonna be able to edit a lot of that out, but I'm gonna stop because this video is going to be too long otherwise. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring my notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. Pop that in the search bar and I'll come right up. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I hope to see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.